And Strickland is, uh, to me, is not necessarily a villain, even. The thing that Guillermo pointed out is that in the old days, in the B-movie version, where there's some creature being pulled out of the Black Lagoon or whatnot, that the Strickland character would be the, the hero, hero, I guess. Um, he's he's the, the one doing the right thing. So the fact that he's able to flip that kind of nullifies the whole paradigm to begin with, in my view. And that the, perhaps uh, the Russians in a B-movie or um, films made at the time that this takes place might be thought of as, as the enemy and, and Hofstetler in this case ends up trying to help save the creature. He might be thought of initially as uh, one of the darker forces and then he ends up being com compassionate and full of compassion for what the creature's going through. Well, it's a love story between a mute cleaning lady and a man who might be a fish. He's not a man. I don't even know what to call him. The creature. We've the been creature. calling him the creature. The creature. Um, yeah, these sort of lonely souls who uh, are subject to a kind of, I mean, um, horrible treatment as far as the creature is concerned. And as Eliza is concerned, she's somewhat isolated, has a friendship with Giles, and... Um, you know, somewhat ignored at work. So they're somewhat solitary and uh, they find each other. Her, her, her fascination draws her to this creature and we get to watch them discover each other and the trepidation and the fear that they go through and, and they get to know each other in front of our eyes and that's pretty extraordinary for people who we would think wouldn't be able to communicate with each other. I love the challenge of getting to speak my half of my scenes in, in Russian uh, and the time it took to try to learn some of the nuance of that language, uh, of which I had studied a little bit in college, but um, not as thoroughly as, uh, as, uh, as uh, I needed to, to, to learn what I needed to learn. Um, Guillermo also asked me to do some drawing and some sketching, which is something I love to do and have done since I was a kid. Uh, of the creature, so the sketchbook that he handed to me, I got to make those drawings myself, and it really brought me back to, you know, uh, sort of a, you know, both an artistic and a scientific frame of mind, which was wonderful. Uh, um, I love the biography that he wrote out for my character, which is the first time that any director has ever done that for me before, given me pages of ideas about who this guy might be, where he came from, what his likes and dislikes might be, the kinds of things that he adores, what he hates. Uh, that was wonderful to receive. I think people will fall in love with it. I think it's, uh, it's got so much going for it. Um, in terms of its variety and style and creativity and artistry. Um, uh, but it's, it's, it's hard to sort of draw a direct parallel between that time, which seemed to be on the edge of a loss of innocence, uh, uh, that America was sort of trying to believe it was one thing, and you could sort of see the, the underbelly underneath of it. Uh, as we all can see quite plainly today. Um, I think like uh, most great art, it reminds you what's important. It reminds you what's important in life. And in this case, uh, it's um, because of this relationship uh, that uh, reminds you how uh, important love is and, and, and what love might actually be because it's very confusing and not many people know. But uh, every once in a while you see, you see it, and uh, this would be an example of that.